<laughs> I'm fishing with two long-haired hippies from Idaho. I don't know what's gonna happen, but. I wanna catch a fish this time. But we have something exciting for this time. We have the three-man fly craft. Nice fish. Nice fish on the hopper yet to be named. Sweet, this is a great time not to have a net, Tim. <laughs> Who forgot it? You. Me, it's not my boat. <laughs> boat rules, isn't it the boat owner brings the net? Dude, you can't put that evil on me. All right, so it's been kind of a tough float so far. The boat is awesome, handles great. These oars are kind of something I need in my life. But we fished the Bionic, got a few eats there, and then just tied on this new like foam cylinder hopper. And that was the first big eat on it. So we got a little eat, but this was the first big one. So kind of cool. What's that floating thing you got down there? Mega float. Fly fish food. <laughs> it's loon payette paste. How do you got the other illicit liquid? How do you got that tied on? I call this a cheech boondoggle. <laughs> just, don't, just don't drink it. All right, so so far the boat has been awesome. It handles great, super sturdy. We've been bouncing around. We had a little break dance competition, right, Tim? Uh, I don't break dance. He break dances, uh, but Curtis will probably edit it out. So if you don't see it, it's Curtis's fault. We just shot the trestle, and uh, you know it, it is a bit wider boat, so it uh, took a little bit more care to get through there, but not a problem. Tim got a 10 out of 10, didn't touch anything. Um, fishing hasn't been super crazy hot, but we've been getting them to eat dry flies. Um, that's pretty much it, you know? So it's starting to get a little darker. This is usually when we start catching fish, the time where we can't even film it, right? Yeah. So we'll continue on with the float and maybe we'll show some uh, freaking 24 inches being caught. Adios. Dr. Timothy has a fish and I bailed he come off yeah. should we have chased it probably <laughs> Dang it. Not even hello GoPro I just hooked and missed a fish goodbye GoPro I think I got a largemouth bass here folks what I have is a Salmo Truta on the Project Hopper. Ooh, that hook penetrated great. Anyway, Project Hopper, we just barely tied it on because for whatever reason, Tim couldn't row me into fish. So if you got someone who can't row you into fish, the Project Hopper is a good hack to have. <laughs> Day two. Do a three-man float today. Tim and I floated last night. It was awesome. This is part two of our journey. But with a three-man float, you don't want three Vikings. So I recruited the smallest person that I know. Brig. <laughs> I'm fishing with two long-haired hippies from Idaho. I don't know what's going to happen. But Briggs says he's gonna catch fish. So if we can get him into fish, then you'll know this boat is truly good and I'm a good oarsman. <laughs> right, Brig? Right. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. I'm gonna catch some fish. I like it. He's gotta go to work later today so too. What happens if he only catches fish when I'm rowing? What, does what that was mean? that? So what happens if he only catches fish when I'm rowing? I think that's just Idaho favoritism. <laughs> All right, so we'll get out there. The review on the boat continues. 
What end do you want me to go? No, you just go down there and I'll I'll handle the boat. You're just there as an insurance policy. It's easiest to go down this little thing. Just hop on the rocks. You chose literally the hardest spot to go down. Okay. Now let's turn it to the turn the front to the right. Perfect. On the trusty old caddis dropper. Alright, so the boat is awesome. We've been floating with three people. We got a full size squatch up front. The miniature squatch in the back and me, except for Tim's been rowing a lot too. The boat's been awesome. Fish are starting to eat hoppers. Tim just got a good one. Decent fish. So what's the secret, Tim? What secret? No secret. There are lots of secrets in Idaho. They won't even tell you which McDonald's they like. <laughs> Anyway, it's been an awesome flow. Briggs throwing streamers. Yes, sir. Because we're making him. <laughs> and we'll continue on. Day three. Yeah. We got Lance landing a brown trout. It ate a nymph, right? A bionic and nymph, yeah. Emerging ant pattern. Maybe it was floating, hard to tell for sure. Sweet. All right, so this is float three. Lance and I are taking a two-man mission. Hola. Lance that speaks Spanish. Be in the video. Say hi. <laughs> Is he cheap? Yeah. How you doing? Good. We got nymphers over here blowing up the fish. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. So, anyway, we'll get Lance's take on this boat. We'll see. I don't know if he doesn't sink us. We'll be good. So, another fish on the Young Special. Just kidding. Grumpy, frumpy, all up in his face. All right, Lance is up. Fishing's just starting to turn on. Don't mind me, just rowing here, holding water in a three-man fly craft while well, Lance is doctoring up a CDC fly. But if you look to the sides there, we're in fairly quick water right now, and I'm, I'm working, but this boat drafts pretty well. I like it. Let's see if old Lance can get a fish right now. He's net worthy. So you don't break off your tippet at least. Each side. Sore mouth trout, that's what that's called. That's what the species is. Sore mouth trout. On a corn fed caddis. Off you go. That was an American brown, I could tell. American? It's just too stupid to stop eating right now that's a grumpy frumpy too man grumpy frumpy is doing work right now keep skating yes lance egan right there says 
you got to get closer to that bank this guy ate like a half inch off of a patty grumpy for the win grumpy frumpy man the, the yellow one i usually don't fish the yellow one here on the lower provo but this dude seemed to like it all right all right fine jeez he was an american not an american brown yeah he was german for sure i heard him say nine sprecken all right you're up lance egan okay so we're about three-fourths the way through our float lance had his first experience on the three-man fly craft so what do you think three man's awesome it's really stable it is uh, actually a lot easier to row than I anticipated, even with a Sasquatch in front of me. Uh, way better handling than I anticipated. I thought it would be a little more doggish, kind of like the other big rafts I've rowed, but this one's actually really easy to get around. Really impressed. Well done, Flycraft. What do you think about those smoker oars? Smoker oars are awesome too. Crazy light oars. Yeah, I think they've ruined me for the rowing game, so. <laughs> but yeah, this is an awesome boat. We've really put it through its paces the last couple days got one more float tomorrow so kilo j gets the experience but yeah I'm, I'm with lance it's an awesome boat so off we go more grumpy frumpy fish to be caught day four okay fly craft review float number four here i have the famous dr timothy with me again <laughs> Uh, I traded him a case of Snickers and 14 Mountain Dews, and he's gonna row me the whole day. So pretty Sounds stoked. Like a good deal, right? <laughs> so, but you know, up to this point, we've put the boat through a lot of paces. Uh, we've done it with both, you know, pretty free river and lots of anglers, lots of tubers. We've been able to maneuver great. Um, I'm the only one who kind of got it hung up in the trestle a little bit. But that's to be expected because I'm a Sam Squatch. But uh, other than that, it's a great boat. Super sturdy. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully we catch two or three fish. Fish before the bridge. That's a good sign, people. See, this boat's so good that even Tim can row me into a fish like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this fish is 50% Tim's, which still makes it way bigger than anything he caught yesterday. That was Friday. <laughs> yeah, Friday. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. Are your days blurring together now? Looks like the fish are on today. <laughs> Strong work, Tim. Dude, I just caught your daily inch quota in two fish. <laughs> he did, he did. Oh. I had a nice one yesterday. Yeah. We got a good fish on there. Nice. Dang. See that GoPro? I already threw the hook. It's a beauty of barbless. That is a good fish. There you go, GoPro. 